Welcome back to the official channel of Amit Ranjan, where we bring you the latest insights on global issues. Today, we're diving deep into the world of climate policy and exploring the significant role played by the G20 summit in shaping the future of our planet. Charles Dickens once wrote, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Few words could better describe the state the world finds itself in today, and the relevance of the G20 summit being held this weekend in India. Our planet has literally never faced hotter times, as the World Meteorological Organization WMO, reports, Earth has just experienced its warmest three months ever. These soaring temperatures are caused by atmospheric carbon dioxide, Colorado II, linked to emissions from fossil fuels, at 419.2 parts per million ppm, this has exceeded a high from 4 million years ago when the Pliocene era was over 2 degrees hotter and sea levels were 33 feet higher than today. Those seas are restive again. The EU Copernicus Climate Service finds global sea surface temperatures at unprecedented highs, damaging vital ecosystems. Alongside, Antarctic sea ice has shrunk to a record low, reducing the albedo effect or ice's ability to reflect heat away from Earth. This is also causing a feedback loop. As ice retreats, it is replaced by a dark, heat-absorbing surface which causes more melting. Alongside, permafrost, ancient frozen terrain across the northern hemisphere which holds huge greenhouse gases, is warming, this could release twice the current carbon in Earth's atmosphere. Forests perform carbon capture but global deforestation, the UN finds the destruction of tropical forests far exceeds the rate of growth now, and shows we are losing a vital ally. Instead, forests are now releasing stored carbon with part of the Amazon rainforest emitting more than it absorbs. The entire world can feel the effects. Just this summer, the US experienced searing heat waves and hurricanes, China suffered floods, Europe faced wildfires, 1 million acres were wrecked, costing 4 billion euros, while India saw its driest August ever. Yet, we also live in the best of times. As the G20 reflects, humanity stands at a new stage now, where many nations have overcome the most bitter conflicts in history. From colonialism to sectarianism, slavery to nuclear warfare, the G20 suffered the worst violence but also evolved to change this through deliberation, innovation and cooperation. Now let us see how this climate change affects few of the species living on Earth and what human beings are doing globally to protect their life. Sea otters are a keystone species, maintaining balanced ecosystems around the North Pacific Ocean. But the otter's dense fur, essential for cold waters, saw it hunted relentlessly for hats and scarves in the 18th and 19th centuries, shrinking to just 2000. In 1911, an international hunting ban was agreed to by the US, Russia, Japan and UK. Conservation and reintroduction programs then enabled otters to occupy two-thirds of their former range. The checkered skipper butterfly was abundant across the UK's woodlands, but as these habitats were used by humans, its last flight was in 1976. In 2016, conservationists restored this delicate orange and brown creature. Species in the Ardennes forests of Belgium were translocated to Northamptonshire and 2019 brought the first locally born butterflies, their restoration engaging over 4,000 people. Once, 60 million bison roamed the North American plains, by end 19th century, 600 remained. Hunted for hide, meat and conquest, settlers killed bison to weaken indigenous communities, the mighty bison faced extreme vulnerability. But herders reared and revealed some. There are 500,000 American bison today, protected by US laws and support to national parks like Yellowstone. Conclusion. In conclusion, the G20 summit plays a critical role in shaping global climate policy. It's a platform where the world's largest economies come together to address the most pressing issue of our time. While challenges and criticisms exist, the potential for positive change remains immense. Remember, the decisions made at the G20 summit don't just impact one nation, they affect the entire planet. It's up to us to hold our leaders accountable and push for ambitious climate action. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Together, we can make a difference in shaping our global climate policy. We are coming with more interesting facts in next upcoming video on this similar topic. Don't forget to watch this upcoming video for more information. See you then.